today we're heading to Mount Popa, which can be visited as a half day trip from Bagan. The easiest and most efficient way to get there is by taxi. We hired a driver for 40 US dollars. Along the way, your driver will likely stop off at one of the palm sugar operations set up along the road. Here you can see how sweets and the toddy alcoholic drink are made from the sap of the toddy palm, as well as sample them. Naturally, souvenirs are on sale too. So we're trying palm juice? Yeah, juice from the fruit. Juice from the fruit, yeah. okay, of the palm tree. Yeah. Hello, souvenir. Like syrup. Does it taste mm. like syrup? Palm sugar with tamarind. Mm -hmm. uh, palm sugar with plum. Uh, palm sugar with ginger. Other one here, the palm sugar with sesame seeds. You know sesame? Mm -hmm. And palm sugar with coconut. Mm -hmm. uh, palm sugar with milk. Milk. Yeah, mm. fine. I'll try some of this. Yeah, with sesame seeds and with coconut and ginger. Mm. More delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll have the coconut one. Mm, coconut. That's only plain. It's what we call Myanmar chocolate. Mm. We use for like a snack for everyday lunch or dinner. Or good for digestion. Mm. Mount Popa is considered the HQ of Myanmar's Nat Spirits and is therefore the most popular location for Nat Spirit worship in the country. On arrival at the base of Mount Popa, you'll see this tiger guarded shrine. Inside you'll find mannequin-like figures representing some of the 37 official Nat, amongst others. The Nats are guardians of various things, so locals will pray to specific Nat for their grace and protection during certain life events. Directly across from the shrine, you'll see two elephant statues guarding the steps up the mountain. Atop the mountain is a gilded Buddhist temple. We're going to take the 777 steps all the way to the top. As you start making your way up the stairs, you'll quickly encounter some of the mountain's resident monkeys. Do be careful about food and not getting too close. They are known to pilfer snacks and can sometimes be aggressive. Along the way, you'll find various corners of religious worship as well as rows of souvenir shops. A little way up, you'll come to the point where you'll need to remove your shoes, as is custom for visits to temples in Myanmar. You'll then need to negotiate the steps. Yes, monkey urine and feces included, barefoot. Locals can be seen cleaning the steps along the way in the hopes of receiving tips from visitors. The cleaners also do their best to shoo away any monkeys causing trouble. Oh, wow. The steps are mostly tiled, but you will find a couple of metal staircases like this one. just a little further to go. Mount Popper is a 2,418 feet or 740 meter volcanic plug and takes about 20 minutes to ascend. We've reached the top and I'm sweating like crazy. It's really hot. It's actually quite a nice view. Yeah. 
At the top, you'll find people praying and giving offerings and donations. And of course, lots of monkeys too. Good job. <laughs> The steps down are not so obvious. You have to essentially walk all the way through the temple grounds to reach them. Seem to be fewer monkeys on the way down, at least so far. There is a separate path for a short way on the way down before it joins up with the same path as on the way up. <laughs> this is seriously steep, you guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> After returning to the base, we wanted to go take some photos of Mount Popper from afar. You can pay to take photos from the Popper Mountain Resort as a non-guest, but after learning that the property is owned by a business tycoon with close links to the military, we decided to go elsewhere. If you're looking for a good viewpoint to take a photo of Mount Popper itself, we can recommend this temple with the big golden Buddha. It only costs 200 chut to get in and you can take some shots of Mount Popper and even get the big Buddha in the photo as well.